And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, with those brutally cold temperatures, the gusty northerly winds, all meaning dangerously low wind chills are expected throughout the morning and even the afternoon as well. Looking out on a Renaissance camera over the Wabash River, you can see the flags are on the pedestrian bridge blowing in the wind. Winds are from the west northwest right now here in Lafayette, about eight miles per hour. The current air temperature, negative three already, and that wind chill feeling more like 18 below zero stepping out the door. Now, temperatures throughout the entire region are below that zero degree mark. It's negative of one right now in Kokomo, two below Rensselaer, five below even in Crawfordsville at this point. Winds continue to move in from the west northwest anywhere between five to 15 miles per hour. As a result, wind chills are ranging anywhere anywhere between negative 18 to negative 22 degrees in Crawfordsville at this hour. Wind chills this low could cause frostbite to occur in as little as 25 to 30 minutes. So if you don't have to be outdoors this morning, I can't stress enough, don't. Stay inside, try to stay warm. If you have to leave your house this morning, please just bundle up, use layers. That will be your best defense against those frigid temperatures. Wind chill advisory for the entire viewing area because of those wind chill values so low at this point. In fact, wind chill advisory through tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. We'll continue to see those frigid conditions. Now, here's why. We have a core of high pressure off across parts of Minnesota, ranging all the way down towards Arkansas. That's pulling northerly winds in, but also we have a round of low pressure still off to the northeast of us. It's centralized right now over New Hampshire and Vermont. It's the difference in pressure there that's actually creating these northwesterly winds that are flowing right across the viewing area back up towards the northeast coast of the United States. That's pulling that Arctic air mass in and dropping wind chills as low as they are this morning. We are expecting mainly clear skies throughout the day. Had plenty of sunshine, but don't expect that to warm things up very much. We should only see afternoon high temperatures peak right around the mid single digit region later on today. So some light scattered cloud cover possibility, maybe some light lake effect snowfall for the far northeastern portion of the state here at home. However, we should stay dry, but that will all be changing tomorrow. As for high temperatures today, right around four in Chalmers, six degrees West Lafayette, five in Delphi later on today. We'll hit that high temperature in Lafayette right around 3 p.m., dropping to four degrees by 5 p.m. Will it drop to negative three by 10, bottoming out at negative seven overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Now, early tomorrow morning will bring some increase in cloud cover and northern, south, southerly winds shifting back into the viewing area. Don't expect those southerly winds to do much except for drop that wind chill value back down to negative 20 at times overnight tonight into early tomorrow. So you see the cloud cover pushing across the viewing area, that high pressure system I mentioned earlier, all moving off to the east of us. That will pull more moisture in from the southern states. And as a result, you have that moisture interacting with those frigid temperatures here at home. Scattered snow showers, a possibility tomorrow. And as far as snow amounts go, we're not really expecting very much, possibly as much as slightly more than half an inch. The southern half of the viewing area, right around a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Further off to the north, where the darker blue is, maybe as much as a half half an inch to possibly uh, 0.8 tenths of an inch uh, this uh, for tomorrow. 20 degrees, your high temperature with gradually warmer temperatures. In fact, we shouldn't even hit our high temperature for Friday until about late Friday evening, early Saturday morning, reaching a high temperature of 33 on Saturday. A round of low pressure will travel right across the Ohio River Valley. As a result, that will bring chances of accumulating snowfall as much as one to four inches a possibility. Now, that's certainly a situation we'll keep our eyes on because we could see a decent amount of wintry mixture come Saturday as well. Sunday, we do dry out 24, your high temperature mainly cloudy skies by Monday 16 your high mostly sunny skies to kick off that uh, forecast for next week. Well 33 on Saturday is going to feel significantly different. We have a big difference headed our way uh, over the next 24 hours but that 33 comes with all that snowfall as well so we could be dealing with some wintry mixture some freezing rain and that snowfall not to mention but uh, most importantly once again those wind chill values this morning stay safe out there. All right Cam thanks very much.